Get your decade ahead horoscope now at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous superstar Sagittarius. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of July 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out right now, and it really is all about the eclipses. Eclipse season is upon us. It is an exciting time to be alive with these eclipses. They are so important that are taking place now. So let's start with the solar eclipse. Right around the third of the month is when we are going to have this month's solar eclipse. This is happening in a part of the sky for you. That has to do with a few things. One is profound and meaningful intimacy. It has to do with being vulnerable to another and how it is that that can transform you and change you. But on a more literal level, interestingly, this is a part of the sky that also has to do with wealth and resources and your access to resources. So even your relationship with financial institutions are covered here. So for some, it is going to be these very areas, these very mundane areas that are going to ask for your attention. But for others, it is very likely going to be a lot more personal and that much more transformational as well. So for some, a solar eclipse means new, new opportunities, new chapters, the, the next best thing or the next new thing rather. And it is going to be this eclipse that is speaking in supreme harmony with Neptune. So there's an awareness of blessings. There's an awareness of how things can turn around, sometimes magically so. But this eclipse is also standing across the sky from Saturn. That energy speaks to necessity, actually. It's almost like you do what it is and you're spurred to action and you are uh, finding yourself with the opportunities you are because it feels as if you must. It's about addressing some uh, external pressure or responsibility or just feeling as if right now as circumstances are it just doesn't feel comfortable and you want to move in a different direction you want to move in a direction that allows you to feel that you have greater abundance available to you so these are part of the prospects that can find you now if it is that you decide to go the way of trying to access a grant or a loan or a bursary Here's some things to keep in mind. Mercury is going to be retrograde this month and part of that retrograde season will be spent in this same part of the sky. But Venus moves into this part of the sky as well this month for most of the month. So there's a lot of faith, okay? There's a lot of uh, a sense of prosperity and what is possible for you. But where it comes to the details, there may be some key things that are being overlooked. A much better bet where it comes to eclipses is to be open, to see where it is that this prosperity wants to find you from, what avenues it is that it can come to you through. And you'd be surprised, there are infinite pathways from which we can access the resources that we need. And ultimately, whatever pathway it is that finds you, well, it leaves you feeling truly blessed. But of course, there is this deeper, um, more spiritual application of this part of the chart, which is about your meaningful transformation and rebirth even is covered here. And you may find opportunities and the impetus and the inspiration to in some way feel as if you are leaving some past behind you, leaving some past self of your psyche or even physically and embracing something new, a new pathway that feels more authentically aligned with who you are. Now, as we navigate towards the later part of the month, it's right around the 18th that we will have this month's lunar eclipse. Now, this is a different energy. This is a pretty intense energy at that. It is going to be this eclipse that will be happening hand in hand with Saturn. It will be also happening with the south node with pluto not far away as well now even though we do have a harmonious connection taking place between this configuration and neptune at the same time though these energies in and of themselves well 
that can be a lot. It can feel very strong. And this can be a time of powerful karmic closures for a lot of people out there. And there might be uh, some pretty strong feelings around this. Now, again, a little bit of action could go a really long way. And regardless of what it is that feels like a closure is asking for, well, just keep in mind that it is ultimately Neptune that's gonna help you to see how good this actually is, how it is to actually create a more positive momentum to propel yourself forward. And so with this energy taking place in a part of the sky for you that has to do with a few different things, one is self-esteem and self-worth. It is about you getting really honest with yourself and rooting yourself in healthy principles of self-respect. That is gonna to matter to you at this time. Self-reliance is going to matter to you as well. And anything that gets in the way of that will find its way away. But what we also have happening here is that this is a part of the sky that has to do with money that you earn, money that you spend. It's not easy, right, to address that because I think that it is finances that reach a very deep part of us, a part of our psyche connected to survival. However, when there's such strong financial energy, it means that the money you need is there. The money you need is gonna find a way to you. It means that you have to pay attention to your money, right? Expenses may arise, but you'll have what you need to meet them. And it will be largely through your own effort that you'll get to show yourself that yes, you can provide to yourself and to those to whom you are responsible. This is about being independent, self-sufficient, and feeling stronger and more inspired by your own actions, by your own creativity as a result. So yes, part of the consideration this month, part of what may matter to you has to do with aligning yourself with greater prosperity. The great thing is that willing or not, you absolutely are gonna get there. Now, where it comes to matters of love, it is back to that first eclipse, the solar eclipse because it is that solar eclipse that has to do with being vulnerable to another person, well, that very often happens in intimate relationships. If you are open to meeting someone new, this is the kind of month that says you either feel it or you don't, and you have a desire to feel deeply, to connect with another person in a more authentic way. And some of that desire, some of that energy may be very strong as you start this month and you may very well encounter a moment encounter an experience that allows you to tap into that desire you have to be more intimate with another person now you do want to be careful with this of course because it is one of those energies that says to be mindful that you are being honest with yourself in the process that you're not telling yourself you have the intimacy of a 10-year relationship when you just met this person like literally that is the kind of thing that can happen under this eclipse there is such dreamy energy around at this time but there is also thanks to venus a reality check moment as well so do what you like do what feels right in light of your unique circumstances but yes it is possible in the early part of the month that you feel something is really really deep and it may actually need time to reveal itself to be such to you for those of you who are just getting to know somebody, again, this desire for profound intimacy is going to be very strong. It may lend itself to a moment of vulnerability with this person or the other side of it, that Saturnian energy says that a part of you may feel like you can't really be vulnerable with this person, that there are things you don't want to reveal. And that is going to allow you then to explore that feeling and that consideration a little bit more deeply. However, with this energy, it can also help you to be honest with yourself about whether or not you truly feel connected to this person. If you do, you'll feel that much more connected this month. If you don't, you'll be able to be that much more honest with yourself as well. For those of you who are in an established bond, um, so what is happening with this solar eclipse is sometimes it can speak to partner's income. And so it may feel like there are changes on that front. It may feel like there's a lot of hope your partner has in terms of uh, their changes to move towards greater prosperity. But a part of you may be seeing things from a more balanced perspective. And it may be that you have to be the one 
to provide that sounding board or to provide that perspective to find that right balance. But for all that, this can also represent a time when you are feeling and your partner as well may be feeling that you can be uh, more vulnerable with each other. You can share more of yourselves, reveal more of your lives, of your feelings, of your histories to each other. And as part of this, to be known more fully by another, there's a, a certain respect that can be fostered in that. And that is what will be the drive now for you certainly, but for the two of you together. What I love about this month for you, well, look, there's a lot here, but it comes back to the eclipses. It is all about the eclipses this month. You will be in eclipse season when the veil between the worlds is especially thin. And this is going to allow you the grand and great opportunity to contemplate and consider more deeply what is true, deeply true for you, and also what it is that you value, sincerely value. And you will find that so much of what you believe makes a person rich while well, you already have. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.